In this video, we're going to take a look at the maths question that appeared in an interview at Cambridge. It says for natural numbers A, B, C, and D, if the sum of these four numbers is 63, find the maximum of A, B, plus B, C, plus C, D. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The answer to this problem can actually be obtained with a very simple intuition. In the expression a, b plus b, c plus c, d, b and c appeared the most often. So this expression will take maximum if b and c is as large as possible, while a and d, the numbers that appear the least often, should be as small as possible, which means a and d should be 1 when maximum occurs. Then B plus C should be 63 minus 2, which is 61. And because B and C has to be as large as possible, so maximum occurs when B and C is the closest to each other. That means B and C are either 31 and 30 or reversing that, which means 30 and 31. So the maximum is equal to 1 times 30 plus 30 times 31 plus 31 times 1. That means it's equal to 991. We can also solve this problem with a formal approach. Notice that our expression is actually very close to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. And this can be factorized into b plus d times a plus c. So our expression is equal to b plus d times a plus c minus a d. Now because the sum of the four numbers is 63, we can say that this is equal to 63 minus a plus c times a plus c minus a d. And for this part, we're actually considering the product of two numbers with the sum to be 63. So because they are integers, so the maximum for this to happen is 31 times 32. And for the other part, because we are subtracting a number, so it's equivalent to find the minimum of AD, and that is 1 times 1. And this maximum is 991. Now, the, lot, the most important question is whether equality would actually hold. The answer is yes, because we can try to solve for such an equality case. Notice that this might not happen because we are actually considering, um, we're splitting the, is this inequality into two parts and equality might not hold at the same time. However, in this case, equality holds at the same time. It's possible. So equality holds when A, D are both 1, and A plus C is either 31, or A plus C is 32, and we solve for the unknowns. C is either 30, and then B would be 31 or C is 31 or B is 30. So we have managed to find the equality cases in a form in a formal way and so maximum occurs when A, B, C, D takes such values. The maximum is indeed 991. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.